what we do here is go back, 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 back. Okay, this is a quick video I'm gonna do today uh, because I'm really upset what's happened, the situation that happened with me with Nvidia. Uh, in, the, in the past few years, I, I bought a lot of video cards for sure. And then when I have a problem with the video card, for example, from Gigabyte, MSI, uh, EVGA, those three companies have been amazing. Every time I have an issue with the card, I just uh, fill out the form, uh, put out the serial numbers on the back of the video card. They match this, like, okay, the, the video card is still warranty because usually you get three years and they just replace it without any question. And they ask you for the invoice. If you have the invoice on time, that, that speed up the process. But if you don't have it still, you still have the warranty that the car was bought here in the US and they need to do the replacement for you or repair it. Uh, so what happened with me is I had a 1080 Ti that I used for uh, deep learning for my work. And then I had an issue uh, with the video card when I was turning on the computer, the, the video card just burned out. And there the, was a smell on the video card. I called Nvidia and I was asking for a replacement and for repair or replace the video card. Uh, they send the first. They send an email, and I want to show you all the emails that they're being sending to me, so you can figure it out how difficult it is to get a replacement for Nvidia. Uh, advice from me is, if you want to buy a video card right now, I recommend you never go with Nvidia. It's been a pain. Uh, you contact them. They have been asking me for my email, the invoice. I told them that was a gift from a, from a friend of mine, and I don't have the invoice. They told me to send an email to ask this person for the invoice. I called the person, since I've been a year already, and I called the person, and this person told me that she didn't have the invoice. Uh, but uh, I, I, I passed the information to NVIDIA, NVIDIA uh, get back to me that I, they need the email of this person so they can go to the website and check when they buy. I gave them the, uh, the email from, the, from my, my friend, and they couldn't find it somewhere because, you know, maybe, this person just used another email or whatever happened. I don't know what happened. So I send it to them and then they answer me back that they please, they need uh, to uh, know where these people bought the car, that they need more information, they couldn't find it. That's please help me with the email. So it's, so it's something that is never gonna finish. I'm telling them I don't have the invoice, I have the car. I send them all that they request. They request the pictures of the back, the back of the car with the serial number. I send it to them. They could, they could verify that the car is still in warranty, but it's still not giving my replacement. I mean, this is crazy and it's amazing because we live in US. Imagine what's gonna happen for people that buying this car from Canada or buying from, uh, I don't know, Colombia, Argentina, Europe, whatever happened. For these people, it's even worse. So it's something important when you're spending that kind of money on this video card because the 1080 Ti, right now the price is around $869. Imagine what's gonna happen for people that buy the RTX 2080 Ti video card. So be be conscious when you're buying these cars online. And my recommendation, because of the experience that I have, I always recommend to go with Gigabyte, MSI, or EVGA. The RMA process on the warranty of your car is very important when you're making the purchase. I will show you all the emails and also will show you how to create, how easy it is to create an RMA with Gigabyte. And you will see how easy is the process and they don't ask you for an invoice or nothing like that. It's an automated system, which is with Nvidia, that doesn't exist. You have to call them, the support, then you have to email them, very old. And, and this, remember about this, this is a huge company, okay? We're talking about Nvidia, the best chip maker on the world for uh, graphic design and all these uh, things. And the customer service. But the customer service <laughs> is just, uh, is not working at all. Okay? I'm really upset about this. I hope.
So for example, so for example here, um, I want to show you how to uh, the NVIDIA RMA works. So for if you go to Google and just type NVIDIA RMA, a few websites gonna show up. Uh, hardware support. I'm just gonna click on that and see. So you get more information, but nothing. You know, computer manufacturer, digital store, nothing clear. Warranty. Here they explain the, the warranty, but there's still nothing. Maybe you can go here. You see too many steps in order to to find something. They tell you go to the computer, check the drivers first, all these things, but the, the video card just burn out, so there is nothing to do on the driver side. Let's go back. And same thing, you just keep opening uh, parts here. So the best way I found was typing NVIDIA customer support. And then you get the phone number. That's the way they were. You have the phone number, you get the phone number, you call them and they uh, present the RMA for you, which is for, I already told them. So I already told you that it's taking a long time. So that's NVIDIA. For, for example, the companies I recommend is Gigabyte or EVGA. The process is pretty simple. We're gonna try Gigabyte, for example. Uh, you just type on Google Gigabyte RMA and they will come to this page. You have to create a, a username and password. Once you're here, uh, the whole system is automated. So you request a repair. You click request a repair. You agree the service. Put your shipping address here the RMA information, all, and then submit it. Once you do that, you go to RMA status and you can check your RMA. In like 48 hours, you receive an email with the information, the, the shipping address to ship uh, your car back to them. They don't ask you for the invoice, but if it does, uh, you just tell them that you don't have it at the moment, you give them the serial number, and automatically they send you the, the RMA number so you can ship your car and they can check it out for you. Same thing works in the EVGA. So EVGA process uh, something like Gigabyte, but in this case here, uh, you have to register your product. So you take your product, you register on the website, create your account, and after that, you open a ticket. But everything's in here, pretty simple to use. I never had an issue with EVGA. They also never asked me for the invoice once the video card is still in warranty, of course. And uh, another one is, I don't wanna put in here, but another good one is MSI. So for now, the three, the best that I've been trying with the, uh, that I've been dealing with in the past few years is EVGA, MSI, and Gigabyte. Most recommended one is Gigabyte because I had some issue with my cards in the past and uh, they always answer me in 48 hours, send the video card to them, they replace it, they repair it, and ship it back to me. I hope this video helped you to make a decision when you buy your car and leave in the comment what you think about this company and I see you on the next video. Bye bye.